Sonic and Knuckles. Woo! Yeah, two bitter enemies now come together for a common goal. Get rid of Dr. Robotnik. Or Dr. Eggman, or whatever the hell he wants to call himself. We can still play as Sonic. No Tails, though. <laughs> yeah, the weird thing about this game, I'll show ya. <laughs> I'm playing this on the Sega or Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection. But look at what I got here. It's the actual card itself. Yeah, And this cool thing, you can actually lock on other cartridges on it. Very innovative. I love this idea. I wish more companies would do this. Say you finish this game, you finish it with both Sonic and Knuckles, game's over, done. But nope, you pop this baby on it, and you play what Sonic 3 was supposed to be, all the levels combined. Sonic and Knuckles, that's a game you can't save on its own, but hey, you get this attached to it, boom, you save all your data. And you're trying to collect 14 emeralds, become super hyper Sonic this time. Yeah, and you play as all three characters. But yeah, back to the original Sonic and Knuckles game. So yeah, before you could play Knuckles in Sonic 3, but here he's an all new character. If you don't know the storyline, Dr. Robotnik and Knuckles are teamed up together to fight Sonic. But the problem is, we got this mysterious robot here that's attacking Knuckles. And he has to find out why. Alright, so it's a typical Sonic game, but look at this. Knuckles here has the ability to climb out walls. And just like Bugsy the Bobcat, he can glide. He can't do that uh, Sonic Spin Dash in the air. Like if you press uh, the button again, he won't be doing that spin attack. But still, he pretty much plays that Sonic and Tails. Runs really fast, yeah. Jumps on stuff. And this isn't just a relash, uh, rehash of like Sonic 3. Yeah, we got all new stages in here like the Flying Battery Zone. The Hidden Zone, Death Egg Zone, yeah, and this Mushroom Zone, which is not <laughs> meant to be a ripoff of Super Mario Bros. No, no, honest. <laughs> Knuckles' game is actually a lot shorter than Sonic's. You just go through four of the stages and that's it. Where Sonic himself will actually go through all six stages for some reason. The special rotation stages from the original Sonic the Hedgehog are back. Yeah, this is such an awesome game. Nothing really too much has changed. The music is still awesome. The graphics are still visually stunning. Lots of parallax thrown all over the place. Interesting stage designs. This is what a Sonic the Hedgehog game should be. Or Sonic and Knuckles game. Knuckles has actually been in some pretty good games before. Knuckles Chaos on the Fury 2 Hits. Pretty good. <laughs> One of the few good games you get to get on that system. So here, yeah, we're trying to unravel the mystery. Why are all these robots hacking Knuckles? He's supposed to be the bad guy. He's supposed to be working with Dr. Robotnik. Whoa! <laughs> Alright, you want some? Yeah, so you collect rings and stuff. <laughs> as long as you have a ring, you're good. Unless you fall in a pitfall. All that sort of stuff. It's still here. Plus, you got the ability to lock on air games onto this game. Ah <laughs> man, I'm out of practice. But this doesn't mean it's still not a great game. Yeah. I give Sonic and Knuckles here for the Sega Genesis a 98 out of 100. It's that good. Just think about it. This game lets you expand on Sonic the Hedgehog 3. It means you can replay your old game again. I love that. Even though it's the same old thing, it's the same old thing but totally amplified, if you know what I mean. Plus, this is how a good Sonic game should be. All right, I'm, I'm just rambling on at this point. But this game deserves it. Alright, this is Star Soldier, over and out. Play this game and rock smooth!